in my email this morning or last night, I got someone sent me a link to this, to this paper, which I'm not going to discuss much now, but it, it popped to my head when Dave was giving his list of, you know, mirror neurons, grand, grandmother cells, and the other, other things that do exist in the brain and are interesting. They have been, everything. They've been posited as the grand unified <laughs> theory of how intelligence works. I mean, grandmother cells was interesting because for a while people assumed they existed, like there was a neuron for each thing. Then people assumed they didn't exist at all and it was bullshit. And then uh, Rodrigo Kian Quiroga and others found, well, there are, there are actually these concept neurons in hippocampus, so that there, there is like the Jennifer Aniston neuron and the Bill Clinton neuron. Now we all have Donald Trump neurons in, in our brains, it's, it's, it's sad to say. But, <laughs> but yet, it's not quite as simple as that. There may be many neurons that fire differentially to Donald Trump. And the Donald Trump neuron could be, that, that could be reused as the uh, Justin Bieber neuron or, or whatever else. Much right? better. So, yeah. So, yeah, what I saw in my inbox this morning is brain computation is organized by power of two base and permutation logic. And what, what these guys showed is interesting. I mean, they did a bunch of studies sticking electrodes in animals' brains while they're doing various perception and movement tasks. And that they showed that in cases where you have like five or six different inputs or something, there are, sort of, there are neural clusters which have dozens of neurons corresponding to each subset of those of those five or six neurons. So uh, five or six inputs are there. So you have six inputs, you look at the power set, two of the six subsets, and the brain has some little neural cluster corresponding to each of to each of those subsets. And that's not exactly shocking, but it's it's interesting to actually do the imaging and then find that those are there. Because that that was a theory I tossed around a long time ago in some book or paper. They're like why do we have seven plus or minus two elements in our short-term memory? Well, maybe it's because you know we're trying to process at a rapid rate of speed every subset of, the, of those things, and two to the seventh is already kind of big. If it was two to the twentieth, that's a million things. Maybe we can't actually turn through all those subsets very, very rapidly. So that they're not addressing working memory only here, but they they're saying this is a sort of circuit motif that occurs throughout the brain. Of course, they found it a few places. That doesn't really prove it. It occurs everywhere. But it's, it's interesting. And it's, you know, it's quite different from the architecture in a convolutional neural net or in a, or in a denoising autoencoder or, or, or something. And of course, the, the beauty of biological systems is they're incredibly messy and complicated and have a combination of many different organizing principles and evolution somehow through together. So n none of these simple element things really really ends up quite being the answer, which, which is what drove me to veer away from biology toward, toward making a sort of computer science-y design, which is loosely inspired by biology in, in various ways. And that, 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 that brings me the thing I wanted to briefly talk about now before going to an open discussion.